So, Coach, uh, oh and two to start the season. What did you learn uh, about your team? You know, fa facing uh, get games that count. I don't think you have enough time. <laughs> um, I, I learned a great deal about our team, uh, both positively and negatively, actually, from from this past weekend. Um, obviously, extremely disappointed with uh, our performance and the outcomes of the game, and. And most importantly, I mean, don't get me wrong, Western Washington and Seattle Pacific are two quality opponents, but really just mostly disappointed in, in ourselves. Um, of course, we prepared for both teams, but really went into the tournament, just focused more on ourselves and, and us trying to, to become a better basketball team, and, and we didn't accomplish that goal. What was the attitude of the team after, you know, the two losses kind of, kind of coming back? I mean, just as I expressed myself, I mean, obviously disappointed, um, really I think they're slowly learning that you know it's they're, they're going to have regrets because when you don't put it all out there and then we watch film and it's an eye opener. Um, I, I think it's immediate regrets. Um, but you know I will say that as far as you know it's so early in the season and, and there's such there's so much that we have to learn and you know I saw a different team out on the court this weekend than I had the previous week in practices, which tells me you know we're not transferring what we're doing in practices onto the floor. Um, in game situations, which obviously is a big concern. Um, and so that's something that I have to give great consideration to and, and fix. Um, but coming into yesterday's practice, you know, their spirits were high. They're, they're, they want to get better, and, and, there's, and, I, and I, that's encouraging um, that they want to get better and they want to learn. We just have a lot of work to do. Does anybody have to do with just a lot of new players, uh, you know, on this team and, the, and, and being early? Definitely. I mean, obviously, you know, I've done this a few other times, but obviously taking over a program for the first time, there's just – so many new players, there's a new system, there's new expectations. Um, <clears throat> so all of those things play a part, there's no question about it. And still, even after you know a couple exhibitions and these two games in Seattle, that for myself, just learning still dif different combinations and you know our point guard position and just who's going to be best in what situations. Um, and, and I think I have a much better feel after this past weekend than I did prior to the weekend. Um, and so definitely some changes that I need to make on my end. All right, so 0 2 start, but you are home this week, but it is a conference game. Yeah. Yes. Uh, just kind of talk about the, the task of the, the quick turnaround getting ready uh, for, for that conference opener. Yeah, well, obviously, it's, it's very early to have a conference game. Um, but um, again, of course, like I said, we're going to prepare for San Marcos. They're, they're a good ball team coming in, and it's going to be here at home for us. And really, just focused, you know, of course, we're going to talk about San Marcos and we're going to prepare, but. My attitude and, and kind of my thoughts right now are just we have we have to take care of us. Um, we can prepare for San Marcos all we want, knowing their personnel and everything, which we will, but we have to get better in certain areas. And the focal point is on us these three days in practice um, to make changes. Is there one certain area that you guys just need to uh, improve in if, if you guys want to get that first win on Thursday? I'm saying the same thing I've been saying for the last couple of weeks, which is our defense. Um, this last weekend we actually struggled offensively as well. We're turning the ball over way too much. Um, and just, just not in any kind of flow offensively, um, which, which we're struggling with. And that's, that's due to a lot of different reasons. But um, whether the shot's going in, whether we're not having a good flow on offense, we have to be able to rely on our, in particular, our half-court defensive execution. And uh, we did not do a good job of that. And hopefully we've learned a lot from watching film in the last day or so, and we're going to make those improvements. Well, what positive things did you see out there in Seattle? Um, just, you know, the girls, like I said, they're – their heads are in it. They they want it. They're just they just don't know how to get it, <laughs> um, and and that's where I come into play. Um, you know, I, I got to get them to understand the importance of the littlest things, from a scattering report to you know little things in our offensive execution right now that we're not having success with. It could be timing of something, bobbling of balls. I mean, there's just so many little things that I don't really think that they've grasped the sense of urgency and the importance of these little things, and that's what we're really trying to get across to them. Coach, last week, and how much do you think it was the Lumberjacks were outmanned and how much is still the ladies trying to grasp, you know, the full concept of the new system with a lot of new faces that are coming together? It was certainly a combination of both. Um, I mean, both teams that we faced, you know, had a lot of returning players. They're obviously very acclimated and accustomed to the systems that they run. Um, and they're just more polished. There's more experience. We're inexperienced pretty much at every single position um, as far as individuals having – quality division two minutes at this level so we're extremely inexperienced but to me that has nothing to do with our effort um, it should not have anything to do with our effort it should not have anything to do with the things that we can control in particular on the defensive end and I, and I think that's why 
I was most discouraged and, and most disappointed was in that area. And so, like I said, we just we have to polish a lot of things up. How far are you, do you think, from finding out you know, who your lineups are, who is going to be your, your your core five, and then how deep you can go on that bench? Because at least I didn't get a chance to watch the Seattle Pacific game, but the Western Washington game, obviously you put a lot of different combinations and a lot of players you know, got a chance to see the floor. Did you see enough from players so you're starting to get an idea of who, who is going to be your, your go-tos, or you know, is it still a ways before you figure out you know, as a staff you know, who's your starting five and how deep you can go on that bench and who works together well? No, I have a much better feel. Um, I have a much better feel, and as much as we are 13 deep, um, and I don't think it's, it's realistic that we're going to play 13 players. Um, a bulk of minutes in the games and I think this last weekend was very telling and it was very apparent to myself after evaluating both games just as you said what combinations who's going to be best and you know we may end up playing seven eight players but I, I do know that I, I have a much better feel now of who who needs to be out on the floor who needs to be put in certain situations um, and, and it still may change but I definitely have a better feel now than I did five days ago. It's good news is uh, you're back at home on Thursday in San Marcos Probably not to the caliber of the two teams you saw last week, or I'll say that. You don't have to say it. But nonetheless, uh, still early in this one. What would you say to your team before you guys take the court uh, and addressing that game to go or try to go out and go to 1-0 in conference play? Well, obviously, you know, we kind of break our seasons up into different phases. This is kind of a unique situation because we have San Marcos so early. Um, but we had talked about just the fact that the two games last week in Seattle were regional games for us. and. Pretty much no one on our team even really understood what that meant. Um, so just under explaining that to them, and now here we have an opportunity for, for a conference game and just the importance of it and, and the magnitude of it um, and the stage that we're going to be on and home court and all the things that come into play here, I will definitely be talking about today and tomorrow leading up into to game time. And then I know it's a ways away, but Saturday night you have Cal Baptist. Whoever made your schedule coach, you need to have a talk with them. But uh, pretty rough start there uh, to get going. Uh, your thoughts on just, you know, I mean, in a four games, you're going to take on three traditional powers uh, in the West region. So regardless, you know, come Christmas, your, your team will be familiar with what the best in the West looks like. Which, you know, I think ultimately big picture down the road, I'm hoping obviously that that's going to be a positive. Um, that the quality of talent and competition that we are seeing in these first two weeks is, is very, very strong. And obviously the hopes are that it prepares us for our conference games. Um, and, you know, like I said, even though the outcome was what it was this past weekend with two strong teams, in particular Cal Baptist coming in this weekend, it's just only going to make us better. Um, and that's exactly how we're going to look at and go approach every game, and that's how we're going to look at it. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate Thank you. it. Sure.